People frequently talk about how much more difficult it is to cheat in a card game than to perform good sleight of hand. But if you think about it, what makes magic different is that it's inherently honest. You tell someone you're going to deceive them before you deceive them. In some way, that makes it more difficult. From the 19th century, an experiment called Everywhere and Nowhere. He's devoted to that theater which he alone sees. That is to say, he has the ideal of magic in his mind to which he's devoted his life, to perfecting it, to performing it, to researching it. The real key to learning is almost like the sensei-master relationship in the martial arts. The way you want to learn is by someone that you respect showing you something. And what I want you to do is watch me uh, actually shuffle the cards and see that it's a good, legitimate shuffle. Because after all this shuffling, I'm going to do what gamblers call dead cutting an ace. The concept here is you reach into a shuffle deck and literally cut out an ace. This is an acquired skill. <laughs> All right, let me do this once more, you Put know. Put some money on this one? Well, I don't... Put some money on it, what the heck? Well, let me, let me... I mean, it's a moment that I'll never forget it. It was a kind of supreme piece of artistry that I witnessed that was done for me. The question was, was I ever tempted to become a con man or a card shark? Yes.